अगर फिर दोस भर रुए जमी अस्त हमी अस्त हमी अस्त हमी अस्त नमस्कार इंडिया वेलकम यू टू अनदर वंडरफुल एपिसोड ऑफ वेलनेस के नुस्खे सीजन थ्री विद डॉक्टर सुजीत पॉल नमस्ते नमस्ते इंडिया How are you doing today, sir? Fantastic, amazing in this in this amazing atmosphere, yeah, yeah, amazing mountains, amazing people, amazing food. True. From amazing comes the letter A. From letter A comes A A B C D E F G H uh, I A I A I rings a bell. Artificial intelligence. We all know about this. Artificial intelligence. We have heard about this. But what is this really? Dr. Sujit Paul today will be talking to us about AI and its relevance to today's society. Society, not just relevance, how it's gonna be the next game changer. Sir, what are your views on AI and how it's seeping our daily life? AI or artificial intelligence is no more artificial. It is rather OI, which is the original intelligence. And this original intelligence is a cumulative intelligence of all the powerful humans. that are there and this cumulation is building the original intelligence which was artificial once upon a time in 1959 but no more it's artificial what a perspective mere shrotao ke benefit ke liye main ye bolna chahta hu ki ai bhi jo hai wo uski utpatti bhi manushya ke mastikshk mastikshk se hi hui hai from human brain ai has come out and what an amazing point sir ai is actually the original intelligence it's a fusion so, of computers humans coming together sir as per a survey by a leading research organization india's ai adoption rate is around 30% which is higher than 26% now this is quite a shock mere shrotao ke liye bhi ye koi surprising baat hai ki ai india mein itna adopt ho chuka hai is it sir ai has been adopted so much in india which feels you think where it has got a march over the, the other things india have been always a uh, epitome of adoption we have seen this over and over again in multiple situations right from you know when the computers have rolled into the private and government banks to changing the teller machines to atms and vending machines and adoption of the upi and more so in every single aspect of transition of humans to non humans we have seen how india have actually evolved and how india have adapted So yes it is true that India is fast adapting and there are definitely a big reason is the kind of speed that India is undergoing in terms of the overall ecosystem of its educational governance and the agility of the new gen z that is coming up gen z agility i have a question here sir the traditional image sir bharat ka aisa raha hai ki cows magicians dheere dheere hole hole How come this word agility you are talking about in India, the speed of AI? But other than UPI, we don't really see it. Can you tell for the benefit of our viewers, हमारे श्रोताओं के लिए कि other than UPI, which seems to be a fairly customer-facing AI innovation, what are the other fields where AI actually आपके मेरे जैसे लोगों को visible है? So UPI is not really a, a AI innovation. UPI is a technological innovation which is more of a financial technological movement of innovation that the country have adopted. When you see AI, a huge area where AI have taken a leap is healthcare, where right from the data science and understanding the kind of disease patterns in the leading hospitals, journals, and the government bodies, to the section of medicine management, AI have taken a huge move. AI have also taken a move in a forecasted robotic surgeries, where through AI. there are possibilities that we see where we can predict how and in what methodology a patient can be infected through various diseases and where preventions can be worked out so these are the prime areas apart from that definitely in manufacturing breakdowns of uh, of a manufacturing process so which earlier we used to sp- speak about kaizen now that it gets modified into understanding analytics of the ai through destructive and constructive ai so there are various places but i think the far more movement of ai that we see in india is definitely healthcare primarily from the surgical and the data database perspective taking a leaf from your response sir you said healthcare yeah manufacturing where ai has stolen a march on us 
Now my question to you is more from a perspective of develop developing countries, like let's say India, the Indian subcontinent, maybe some of the Asian tigers like Vietnam. Sir, in jagao mein population kafi zyada hai. Sure. Logo ko jobs ki zarurat hai. Pata nahi kyu average the layman on the ground feels ki zyada agar AI bad gaya, to wo logo ke jobs kha jayega. Ye ek genuine chinta hai. Kafi mere shrota hai aise hai. जो जिनके घर में बीवी है बच्चे हैं उनके बेबी बच्चों के भी बच्चे हैं अब उनके लिए सर आप इन लोगों को क्या टिप्स दोगे हाउ आर दे सपोज टू अडोप्ट दिस चेंजिंग ए आई वर्ल्ड सो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट देयर विल बी ह्यूज इवोल्यूशन ऑफ ए आई यू आर ट्रू दैट देयर विल बी श्रिंकेज इन सम पैरामीटर्स ऑफ जॉब्स विच आर मोर मैनुअल टूडे और विच आर मोर नॉन ऑटोमेटेड येस बट द फास्ट मूवमेंट ऑफ ए आई विल ऑल्सो इंश्योर that this current generation and the next generation that is coming ahead they have enough job but for the third generation from here which is good 30 into 3 which is 90 years from now there will not be no depletion because then you will have less people getting married you will have less children less births and i don't foresee where ai will replace wives AI will replace children, and you will have artificial intelligent girlfriends, artificially intelligent uh, boyfriends. So these would be a combination of original intelligent and the actual emotional intelligent that could be built up. So you will not have the population growing so fast what it is growing today, wherever AI is adopted. So. I don't foresee too much of a risk, but I see a huge progression if it is used appropriately. A huge progression if it's used appropriately. So, sir, uh, we have seen this in couple of the East East Asian countries where uh, the rate of marriages have fallen down, or even uh, why again see relationships with a traditional angle. People are not willing to go into relationships. They are happy with their artificial intelligence buddies. I prefer calling them AI buddies. Now, this could be a AI robot, which is human-like. it could be a ai robot which is mimicking a parent or even people are like saying that okay there are certain elements of nature other than these pets and family which can be replaced with robots what could be the uh, the thought process behind this or what are the consequences that we are seeing sir in the long run see typically how the evolution would happen is that um uh, when this whole journey would be blowing up then you will not see what you are seeing today you will have intelligent robots who would be your girlfriends intelligent robots who will be your boyfriends and these would be exactly the touch and feel of a human because you, you may use a silicon similar material so only thing that that will infuse into them much more is the emotional attributes that will get through so that the connections of these artificial intelligent robots seems very very close to the original perspective of of humans so robots will have ability to mimic human emotions everything. you mean to say everything wow that so, is something so that to watch out for that is the work that is happening and once that happens then why then why do you need someone else because you know the the cost is going up everywhere so you don't need to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a family as a matter of fact where you can optimize everything on a structural approach with with someone who uh, is low in maintenance and and intelligently intelligently no tantrums crafted. and stuff no i don't i don't use the word tantrums but intelligently <laughs> crafted so this is uh, this is radical what uh, uh, dr paula suggested basically we are looking at change in the structure of the society society ka jo structure hai wo bhi badal sakta hai amazing sir sir my next question is about uh, something which people don't prefer asking but we prefer asking things which people don't want to ask sir what do you reckon will be the effect of ai and also robots on the effect of procreation because let's be honest we are here because of procreation all of our viewers are also here absolutely. because of procreation absolutely how will this affect procreation absolutely. the presence of robots and artificial intelligence sir? yeah so typically what would happen is that you will have humans who will get into a scenario where they can get into a perspective of uh, their own pleasure of life with artificial intelligently robot now this artificially intelligent robot 
would be so scientifically accurate that it can actually imitate your emotions. It, wow. can, it can imitate your sound. It can also understand at what time a specific orgasm can come depending on, on the movements. It can also understand that what should be the holding capacity. Now, this is what is actually coming ahead. So, and, and we are not too far off from there. We have already started seeing that, you know, the world is moving towards it very fast. But what, that's not more scary. What would be more scary is that, okay, so now, now we understand that, that a human would be having maybe a, a satisfaction relationship with a, with a robot and they will be fully satisfied. But what is more scary, what would come ahead is, when this human will also get replaced and two robots would only interact with each other. And then is gradually when things will start. Cover just. So, uh, so, sir, just as Sunday said, you all have heard that gradually it will be like that the robot-human relationship may end up becoming a robot-robot relationship. Or maybe 80% robot, 20% human. Yeah. So this is, I think we are gradually stepping into the zone of matrix and iRobot. What I no, say? That is not far off. I uh, Trust me and mark my words, this will come within 100 years and it is not far off. When you are talking about 100 years, I want to mention about a field here, defense. I believe robots are already very active there. Yeah, robots are highly active in defense. In defense, we, we see across the world a huge work on, on AI and, and robotic management. So keeping up with our new practice, we have a trivia for our viewers. Guys, I want you to guess who is India's first AI robot. The right, the right answer gets a special prize. All you need to do is go to the comments below, mention the name of the India's first AI robot and also mention your name, your mobile number and your location. An interesting hamper from, from us awaits you. So sir, to give the parting punch, okay, we will discuss around five to six situations and you please let us know whether it's possible, yes or no or whatever you feel like. First thing sir, a human and a robotic dog or a robotic cat. Yes or no? Yes. Yes? Okay. Oh my God. Amazing. I or you flying in the air like a Superman. Yes or no? Absolutely yes. Okay. Flying long distances? Flying let's say from here all the way to the southern part of India? Absolutely yes. Oh my God. Wow. Second point. My family staying let's say in New York. I am staying in New Delhi. Teleportation. Yes or no? Yes. Teleportation, sir? Yes. Wow. For the viewers, you are thinking about it, everyone. If your family or your girlfriend is somewhere else, or your boyfriend is somewhere else, you can teleport yourself. Time travel. Yes or no? Yes. Two minutes treatment of or quick commercialization of health care. Ten minutes treatment. Absolutely, yes. Of cancer? Possible. Yes or no? Possible. Cancer? Yeah. I repeat it again. Yeah. You just need to change the, the genetic combination of ATGC. Simple. Wow. Limb replacement? I believe this would be a yes. Uh, yes. Definitely. It's a dead giveaway. Okay. This kind of a show happening without us not even being present in this world. With, with us being in the gods abode. Yes or no? Very far, far, far fetched. Very far fetched, I would say. Because, see, there are, there. I'm sure there are intelligent humans who are there and whom we don't know. So maybe it's happening there, but for us in, in Earth, it is, it is far-fetched at this point of time. Okay, for my Earthlings, we still have some barriers which AI really can't conquer. Wow, what amazing perspectives we have got, right sir? Robotic animals, robotic human families, teleportation. Okay, one thing we missed out on, which is what I like Contact with aliens, it is. Yes or no? Yes, it is possible. But again, it is a little far-fetched because, you know, those intelligent humans would actually like to stay aloof and they would prefer not to get back, you know, with people of the earth who are of lower intelligence than them. Wow. So, for my fellow lower intelligent friends and for my fellow higher intelligent alien friends who are watching this episode, we want to meet you. You can meet us. Maybe AI will bring us close to us. Sir, this was one amazing originally intelligent episode conducted by AI for us. We really love this. मेरे श्रोताओं से मेरे मेरी अनुरोध है कि आप हमारे इस फोन नंबर पे और इस ईमेल पे फीडबैक दीजिए. Please give us your feedback. 
please let us know what do you feel about these episodes do let us know what we should be speaking about sir it was my pleasure to host you here and we really loved sharing space here bye guys meet you soon in the other part of intelligence thank you